Good afternoon. I'm Jonathan Levine. I'm a colleague of Jeffrey Toons in the Taubman College of Architecture and Urban Planning. I'm in the Urban and Regional Planning Program. My interest is transportation and land use planning. And I want to start by asking you to imagine something. Now, you don't have to close your eyes. In fact, I want you to keep your eyes open. I want you to imagine two people leaving work at the same time. They're both driving home. It just happens. They do. They are. Commuter A and Commuter B. Uh, commuter A and Commuter B drive home in parallel for about 10 congested miles, after which Commuter A is at home. Great. Commuter B uh, needs to travel 10 more miles. Lucky for her, these these second 10 miles are not congested. She travels at the speed limit. Now, it's a trivial question for you and for me to answer, who has the better commute? Of course, commuter A has the better commute. It ought to go without saying. But wait a second. Let's take the standard methods of transportation planning and transportation engineering, let's evaluate these two commutes. Who has the better average speed? Commuter. Uh, you know what? I got this backwards. So, so we're in the green, he's actually along in the, other, in the other column. Who has the better average speed? Commuter B. Who has less, uh, lower percent time spent in congestion? Commuter B. Who has lower distance spent in congestion? Commuter B. Who needs to uh, leave a less of a time buffer required to ensure an on-time arrival in, in percentage term? Commuter B. These are all the core metrics of transportation planning and transportation engineering. There's only one core metric that renders them the same, and that's total delay. They both experience the, total, the, same, to the, to the same total delay. Something's wrong here. The standard metrics of our field are giving us information that you and I is, are known, known to be false. Worse, we plan according to that information. We plan cities and we plan transportation systems as if that were what we ought to be caring about. What's going on here? We ought not to be caring about mobility. Mobility is not the purpose of transportation. The purpose of transportation is accessibility. Accessibility is our ability to reach destinations. And you might say, well, if I can move, that's mobility, surely I can reach my destinations. True. But your ability to reach your destinations is also a function of the destination's proximity. A focus on mobility as an end in itself eliminates or neglects the role of proximity in producing uh, accessibility and leads to the very, to many, many distortions of transportation and land use planning that I won't have time to talk about today. Uh, the third means is we all know that we can interact with things. Well, they come to us. Uh, data comes to us. Software comes to us. Uh, information comes to us. Even things like Amazon packages and, and uh, drinking water come to us. That's connectivity. Those three things together make up accessibility. A shift, what we call the accessibility shift, is a shift in transportation and land use planning from the view that mobility is an end in itself to the understanding that accessibility is the end and mobility is only one means to the end. What's the relevance to energy? Mobility is inherently energy intensive. Movement means we're taking mass and moving it across space. That inherently takes a lot of energy even when we figure out how to get the batteries right. Proximity, by contrast, is potentially not energy intensive. If I'm reaching something because it's close, I can do that with a whole lot less energy. Connectivity, similarly, is, is not inherently co uh, uh, energy intensive. If I can reach something, sometimes without any physical movement at all because I got it over the internet, now I have a very energy non-intensive way of, of fulfilling my needs. 
Uh, so the, we have a book coming out at the end of this year. Uh, it's called From Mobility to Accessibility, Transforming Urban Transportation and Land Use Planning, Incorporating All These Ideas. Thank you.